Hi guys, chào mừng các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh của chúng tôi Bạn có thể nhìn vào những gì bạn đang chống lại và nghĩ Tôi không có sức mạnh, sức chịu đựng, sự bền bỉ và sự kiên cường Có thể nhiều năm trước khi tôi đang ở đỉnh cao trong cuộc chơi của mình Nhưng bây giờ tôi đã mệt mỏi Không, hãy sẵn sàng, sức mạnh đặc biệt đang hướng theo cách của bạn Khi bạn có sức mạnh đặc biệt, bạn sẽ chạy nhanh hơn một số chiến xa Bạn sẽ vượt qua những gì có vẻ không thể bạn sẽ đạt được những ước mơ dường như quá xa vời. I have failed far more times than I've succeeded. Far more. You will never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. Through all the things I've gone through in my life, I had a lot of a lot of downs. How did I keep the faith? There was a couple of reasons. Number one, I know from living that if you quit. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you quit, whatever you were trying to accomplish can never happen. There's not even a remote possibility. I have failed far more times than I've succeeded. Far more. You would never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. If you quit, There is no chance of it popping back up again, coming back later. Quitting is guaranteed for you. You know why? Because failure is a wonderful thing. It's the only way to learn. You have to fail. Failure is a part of the process to become successful. I tell people this all the time. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player in the world, he took 946 game-winning shots. 946 times since he was in high school, the ball has been in his hand to take the game-winning shot with no time on the clock. He has only made 146 of those. He has missed over 700 times, but he has made 146. You know what they write about? When he make it. They write about when you make it. So guess what? When you get to fail and fail and fail and fail, and fail all you got to do is make it up. Now, when you're trying, you're going to fail. But quitting, just stopping, that was the number one thing I understood. And then number two, you have to make sure that your dreams Your aspirations and goals are so big that not accomplishing them is not an option. I have failed far more times than you succeed. Far more. You, you will never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. All you got to do is make one. I've had in my career probably a total of, I've been to over 200 pitch meetings to pitch ideas in Hollywood. Out of those 200, they have picked five of them. 200 meetings, 200 show ideas, they've picked five of them. But you know what them five was? Hits. I have failed far more times than I've succeeded. Far more. You, you would never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. You have to want something so big that you think about it all the time. You have to want something so big that it drives you to wake up when you don't want to. It keeps you up at night when you long been sleepy. It makes you show up, do things you wouldn't normally do. It requires extra. If you want to be extraordinary and not ordinary, if you want to be ordinary, live your life. But if you want to be extraordinary, you have to be extra. If you put extra on top of ordinary, that word is extraordinary. I have failed far more times than I've succeeded. Far more. You will never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. 
but I've only been picked by five of my ideas got picked. In 33 years, five ideas got picked. All I need is five hits. That's all. Y'all don't even know I was in the mother meetings. They don't write about it. They just write about my hits. You just need a hit. Man. Now, if you don't want to do the extra effort, you finna be regular. There's nothing wrong with being regular. A lot of people are happy being regular. I just wasn't. I ain't want to be regular. I ain't want no regular life. I don't want no regular house. I didn't want no regular car. I didn't want no regular clothes. I didn't want no regular checking account. I just didn't want it. I wanted to have an exceptional home. I wanted to have an exceptional bank account. I wanted to travel exceptional places. Now, if you don't want that, it's perfectly fine. You can be really happy being ordinary. But if something's burning in you, you got to deal with it. If you don't deal with it, you're going to be disappointed. So when you fail, it's a part of the process. Keep going. You're supposed to fail. Shit, who you know that gets it right all the time? That's impossible. You have to fail. Matter of fact, when you fail, be glad about it. Every time you fail, you're one step closer. So every time you fail, say, whew, got that out the way. Go to the next one. Fail again? Okay, I got two out the way. What's going to happen is if you just keep, keep swinging, you're going to get a hit. I have failed far more times than I've succeeded. Far more. You, you will never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. So being regular is cool. It's nothing wrong with it. You get a regular job, regular house, regular car. You get regular money. You have regular hours. You can dress regular. You just go to the family room, take your ass back home. You just travel regular. You go on vacation once a year. That's cool. Okay. You can get get you a coach ticket, re economy ticket, regular. You want to fly first class? You want to sit in the front of the plane? See, let me tell you something. You know what you ought to do? Save your money and buy a first class ticket. This is how you train yourself to be successful. Save your money, get an upgrade, buy a first class ticket. Cause when you sit in first class, you're going to understand something, the seats are wider. You get a choice of meals, chicken, beef or fish. You get a bowl of warm nuts, they give you a hot towel to wipe your hands. Why do you think when their plane take off, they close the curtain to first class? Cause they can't let these regular they cannot let you see what the f is going on up there because you're going to want it back there, but you didn't pay to get it. Hey, what are they doing? They're serving warm nuts. Where's our nuts? Wait a minute. They didn't get charged for the food. Their food was free. They didn't pay for the headsets. They're watching all the movies. Why don't we have that? Because you didn't pay for it. So they closed the curtain so they don't have to deal with your regular ass wondering what's going on in first class. Once you buy a first class ticket, it becomes very difficult now for you to walk past those seats. Because now you're going to know what's going on. So when you treat yourself first class, you are conditioning your mind to now behave and do the things that produce first class results. So if you ever sit in first class, you look, you coach. Coach is a little tight at the chairs. You in the middle seat. You back there by the bathroom. The chair don't recline. It's horrible. First class, big seats. That's why Dick Gregory said, whenever you can treat yourself first class, you should. Because it conditions the mind. Once you fly first class, you never go back. Once you get a private jet, you don't even want to fly first class no more. Because you're on a private jet. You ain't got to take your shoes off at the airport. They ain't open your bag. Your car pull around. They open the door. You walk up the steps. They take you right to where you're going. Then there's another car. When you walk down the steps, you don't even go. Baggage claim. They put your bag straight off the plane in the car. You don't go to none of that. You fly private. You'll never want to fly first class again. Because you get conditioned.
All you got to do is you can condition yourself. Once you buy a really nice dress, you don't want a cheap dress no more. You want another nice dress. Once you buy some Christian Louboutins with the red bottoms, you want all your shoes to have red bottoms on. Because, you know, men like that red on the bottom of that shoe. I don't know what it is, but when you're walking away, And we see that red bottle. I'm telling you, man. Being successful is a mental condition. You can all mentally condition yourself to being successful. Or you got, it's your mind. You're in control of it.